still doing the routine and you're like why are my locks still suffering from dryness right so what i found uh, the research i found i was like oh okay this is why right and gems thank you once again for clicking on this video if you're new here my name is beverly and i discuss lock fitness and mental health awareness and guys today we are discussing the stresses we get when it comes to dry locks guys and you know what i had to do research on this topic because guys sometimes you are literally doing the routine you are doing the oils you have researched about the oils and you're still doing the routine and you're like why are my locks still suffering from dryness right so what i found uh, the research I found, I was like, oh, okay, this is why, right? And guys, I am so happy I found this research and I hope this helps you as much as it helped me. So let's get into the video. So, funny story, when I was a natural, the porosity of my hair was so important. But when I went into being a locked woman, I forgot about the porosity and how important it is to know the porosity of your hair because if you do not know the porosity of your hair, you might be oiling your scalp, your hair really wrong. Because if you don't know the porosity of your hair, then your hair will suffer from dryness and it is a solution you can fix. So I came to realize that the first thing I need to know when it comes to why my locks are dry is my hair porosity. Long ago, I remembered my hair porosity, but I forgot. But guys, I needed to find out. So let's first talk about porosity. What is porosity? Porosity is how your hair takes in moisture. Now, if you have low porosity, then your cuticles are actually closed. And if your cuticles are closed, moisture does not penetrate your hair easily. Actually, it's very hard for someone with low porosity to um, get their hair moisturized. And if you want to know what porosity your hair is, just pluck a little hair and put it in a glass of water and see if your hair floats, stays in the middle or sinks. So if you have low porosity hair, the cuticles of your hair are actually shut. And that means that moisture cannot enter your hair easily it is very difficult for moisture to enter your hair and what happens is your hair gets very dry it is very brutal if you do not moisture it the right way right now if you have low porosity hair and you have locks mm, what's the right way you're supposed to moisturize your locks listen to this now so low porosity means that your cuticles are shut right that means moisture does not enter your locks easily so what you have to do is steaming have you guys ever seen steaming videos of like lock women doing steaming videos i will put lock crush right here because i followed her forever she steams her locks and what this does is it opens the cuticles of your locks right and this helps when now you're putting moisture into to your lock and it helps the moisture stay so for someone who has low porosity um, hair and is locked you should do a lot of steaming also you should use lightweight oils when I talk about lightweight oils I'm talking about coconut oil Jehovah jo jojoba jojoba what is it jojoba oil um and olive oil lightweight oils are oils that are just light by the touch they are not thick they don't you know they're really really light and having a light oil means it can sink in to the cuticles that are making it so hard to open so you need lightweight oil so that it can enter your locks and if you need um, a leave-in conditioner because some people use rose water and some people use aloe vera Ha, huh, this is where it gets in. Rose water is really, really light. So what you should be misting your locks with is actually rose water um, mixture because that's really good for low porosity hair because it's very light and it will get into the hair. Also with low porosity, another thing is because your cuticles are so tight, you tend to have buildup. You will find a lot of buildup in your locks because either the moisture is not getting in or the moisture is getting stuck. It's not coming out and it's not getting in one of the two. So what happens is you end up having a lot of buildup in your locks. So what you need to do is actually have clarifying shampoos. You guys are the type of people who need clarifying shampoos. When you go to the shops, look for clarifying shampoo because you need a 
clarifies a shampoo that can take out the excess oil that has not been moist, um, absorbed into your lock into your hair because you know you have low porosity hair so for my low porosity queens and kings who are locked remember the trick is one do steaming please go see lock crush on youtube she steams her hair and you, she steams her lock and you will see how beautiful it looks i think it looks so beautiful so steam your locks so that your cuticles can open after that make sure you're doing light oils and I, like i said that is coconut oil that is jojo jojo jojoba jojoba oil and also olive oil something that's really light that can sink into your hair into your hair strands into your lock and after that if you're using a leave-in please use rose water because it's very very light on the hair and yeah and don't forget clarifying shampoos that is for my low porosity locked kings and queens and please remember test your hair are you low porosity are you high medium porosity or are you high porosity now we're gonna move on to my medium porosity locked kings and queens let me tell you guys I wish I was in this category <laughs> for you guys it's it's just amazing because your cuticle is just a little bit opened that means that you allow the moisture to get in and you allowed enough moisture to stay in so these are guys who can actually do a lot of like free forming uh, because they don't get frizz they don't get um, really dry hair because once they put their oils the oils stay in there and you're just like why is your hair always beautiful and shining well that person has medium porosity hair that's where you would want to be but you know what you are where you are just make it work so for my medium porosity lock kings and queens you guys can use any oils that you like you can use the highest range from argon oil to coconut oil to castor oil because your hair will take it in and you can do aloe vera <coughs> um mist or you can do you can do aloe vera with water mist or you can do rose water with with water mist either way your hair will take it in and it will take and it will keep as much as it can but because your cuticles are a bit open your hair can get dry really quickly so it can take the moisture and then let's say two to three days later you're like why why is my hair dry you know what i mean so all you have to do is come up with a really good routine that works for you find out when your hair starts feeling dry and then just repeat the process but you guys don't really struggle with a lot <coughs> excuse me you guys really don't struggle with a lot you are in a very good range so if you're in that range <laughs> you're lucky my friend <laughs> so in my journey i thought i had low porosity hair because yes my locks get dry and so today i did the test because i was like oh let me remind myself what type of hair i have i took a little bit of my hair put it in a glass and i just watched it go down Woo! it went all the way down and i thought high porosity hair was amazing right but no 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 High porosity hair is when your cuticles are completely open, meaning it takes in the moisture and it also releases it as fast as ever, right? So high porosity hair is unable to retain the moisture that you put on your locks. And guys, I was here. I was like, guys, I'm putting moisture on my locks. Why? Why does it just disappear? Why am I back to dry hair? And I finally figured it out i am in the high porosity hair category and this category is really difficult because if you have high porosity hair do not steam do not go and start steaming your hair because what you're doing is you're opening your cuticles more they are already wide open so you're just making it worse because they're not going to close after that so you don't want to be a steamer on top of that you don't want to do clarifying shampoos because your locks don't even hold moisture so what are you clarifying my darling so when you're doing clarifying shampoos, you are making your locks so dry. So I've been actually doing a lot of clarifying shampoos and I'm like, oh my God, now I get it. This is why my locks are so dry. No, if you are a high porosity locked king or queen or high porosity woman with open hair, don't do clarifying shampoos. You need shampoos that are soft to your hair that are gentle that are not too strong you need shampoos that, that are coconut derived you need shampoos shampoos that are self fit free like you need shampoos that are just gentle on your hair because your locks do not hold moisture even though they take it in on top of that high porosity people suffer from frizz 
I don't know if you've heard me talk about how I'm always like maintain your frizz, maintain your frizz. It's because I suffer from frizz because my hair is just opened, it is dry, it doesn't hold moisture, it holds moisture, then it lets it go. It's just all over the place. And um, because of this, you really have to figure out what products you're putting on your hair. Yes, we can put any oils, to be honest. You can put any oils that you like, but you need to figure out what am I doing to keep this sealed. Now, for my high porosity women, it is so important to keep your hair wrapped. Keep your locks wrapped. Like, do some wraps. Like, I hope you guys like this head wrap. Do some styles because you're trying to keep that uh, moisture in. Style your hair. Uh, protect your hair from the sun. Um, protect your, sorry, protect your, your locks from the sun. Just learn how to be, you know, stylish with your locks. Like, do a couple of things because for me, when I was doing semi-free form, I was really struggling with dry hair and frizzy and a lot of frizz. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? but on top of that I was doing clarifying shampoos and it was just dry 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 and I, my hair was out all the time but when I do a retwist and I wrap my hair or I keep it in a style like right now my locks are still pretty moisturized I don't know if you can see they don't feel dry at all all right they actually feel really really good so i know that i'm that type of person who should either have their hair wrapped either have their locks wrapped a couple like for for a while or i should um keep my hair in a style that way like i'm keeping my cuticles a bit closed you know and i shouldn't use clarifying shampoos i should use gen gentle shampoos on my hair and that is literally for my high porosity women and men guys this is so important to know because once you understand the porosity of your locks then you are gonna be able to um understand what routine works for you and your locks will start being as bouncy as moisturized as they should be i hope this video helped you and guys i have one more thing to talk about and this is just for all the high low and medium porosity this is for all hair there is something called apple cider vinegar mm -mm 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 -mm. guys if you do not put a bit of apple cider vinegar in your mist can can you go do that right now can you go to the bathroom pause the video go to the kitchen get yourself some apple cider vinegar put a little bit of it and put it in your mist because apple cider vinegar is the holy grail what does apple cider vinegar do apple cider vinegar helps regulate the ph of your hair meaning like if you might because there was a video i actually watched of a lady who thought she was low porosity but what it was that she was putting too much product in her hair and that's why water could not penetrate her her hair anymore and she had to do a clarifying um uh, uh, wash but the thing is with like um apple cider vinegar it keeps the ph levels so perfect that it lets your hair grow in such a beautiful like environment let's talk about our scalp like it's an environment because the ph levels are perfect and on top of that apple cider vinegar helps in sealing the cuticles and laying them flat oh so my low porosity darlings don't do apple cider vinegar mm -mm. Your, your 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 cuticles are already flat don't do it but it is the holy grail we all know that avc rinse was the trend for i don't know how long and you know one of the ingredients is apple cider vinegar by the way for my low porosity women and kings please do not do um acv rinse like every single four months no that is like you should do it like when you seriously need it and i think maybe in a year, two years or something because you guys man that it, it will dry your hair but for my medium and for my high porosity kings and queens guys please put spritz some apple cider vinegar on your hair because it will balance the ph on your scalp and your dreads will grow and they will flourish I feel like I moved so fast in this video, but I hope that this actually helped you understand that the porosity of your hair really matters on the dryness and the moisture that you will get with your locks. And you need to understand that with the porosity that you have, you have to make a routine that works for you. Don't just watch people's video and be like, oh, she's steaming her hair. That sounds awesome. I want to steam my hair. No. My high porosity girls, no. Your cuticles are already open. That's going to be bad. And for my medium porosity 
um kings and queens guys let me tell you something like you still suffer from dryness right because your hair will get dry but you need to time yourself because it's just understanding what time take that routine understand your hair you know what i mean and for my low porosity kings and queens use clarifying shampoos you need it because your products don't get into your locks and remember steam so that you can open your cuticles i'm so glad i did this video and i hope you like this hairstyle i actually have the tutorial out on my tiktok you can find my tiktok here and my instagram here i'm so happy to take this time to just share with you guys what i found out about porosity and dryness of locks and the routine that you need to take for it to work for your lock. So remember, test the porosity of your hair. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe and there will be more. Mm -hmm.